Hey guys, it's David from 3D Make It, and today I'm going to be talking about easy filament changing during a print job. To do that, we're going to use M600. Let's go! So you started a print job and you walked away and you've come back to this much filament and the print's still going. What do you do? Well, we're going to show you an Octoprint plugin, some terminal commands, and a command called M600 today. That's easy filament switch out. So before we jump into that, let's just take a peek at what M600 does on the Marlin webpage. So here we are on the Marlin webpage. M600 is a G command, and basically it's filament change. What it does require, however, is this advanced pause feature. And we're going to talk about where it is in Marlin, but it even tells you down here, you're going to be able to configure it in configuration.h, and then you can even use it on the LCD controller. Now today we're just going to be using Octoprint and Terminal, but if you still have a BP controller, once you start the print job, change filament is in there. So I'm just going to really quickly show you where M600 features get configured in Marlin. Now this is Marlin 2.0 and I just downloaded it from the Marlin webpage. If you forgot where the Marlin webpage is, that's marlinfw.org slash meta slash download. And you can just get there from the homepage too. It's not very hard. So I'm just going to navigate to my downloads folder where it went. I've already unpacked it so I'm ready to open the folder. So I'm just going to grab Marlin and go open. Tickety-boo, opening it goes, and we're ready to go. So hello Marlin, my old friend, I'm here to edit you again. We're going to go into, and we're going to actually look at two files. So we're going to look at configuration.h, and we're going to open configurationadvanced.h. So if you type the word M600 into the search bar there, you can see that in configuration advanced, it adds the M600G code here for park features and we actually have to enable the advanced pause. So here is the advanced pause feature. So if we think back to the website where we were at Marlin Firmware, so let's just pop back here. Remember when we were going to enable M600 for that filament change? It said we had to enable this advanced pause feature. So I just go, I, I'm doing that first, no problem. So I'll go back and I'll just edit the line define advanced pause feature to have no comment and let's save. The next one we're going to do is we're going to go back into configuration.h. I'm searching for the same thing so I'm searching for M600 and you can see here that M600 will be enabled now but we can use it also with filament runout sensors. So. The filament runout sensor is a really good way to monitor your filament usage and we will talk about using those in a bit. But until we do, we're just going to define the runout sensor. We're not going to necessarily use it, but we'll define it. So the filament runout sensor is good to go. We're going to hit save and then we've edited our filament sensor so in the future we can use it. Uh, if you have one right now, this will work right now with your filament runout sensor. We're going to talk more about configuring them with the Raspberry Pi. But until we do, we're going to leave it at this. So it's really only two changes. So once we got all that configuration done, we need to save, compile, upload. If you don't remember how to do that, we have two videos on this channel that we'll link in the description that are perfect. They show you everything from editing to uploading to your boards. So we're going to slice a Benchy. We're going to get all that going and printing on my Ender 3. We've got the firmware configured, uploaded on it. The next thing is somebody's going to come along and cut that filament that's going to need a change. Here we go. Alright, Benchy is going. We can see that it started printing. We're about 7% done. Uh, everything's at temperature. Everything is happy. So if I were to go into my control section here, 
you can see that I have this change filament add-on and it's just a plug-in in Octoprint but it gives us the option to park, unload, load and M600. M600 parks, gets ready for smart uh, usage, you can switch the filament out but remember when you use M600 you're going to have to go to the printer to actually use the control screen to finish the process. So M600 is not an automated process all the way through, but it does make it a lot easier for us. For those keeping score, the plugin can be found if you hit the wrench, you go down to plugin manager. Now right now I'm printing, so it's disabled, but if we look for filament, you can see here that I have filament change plugin or change filament plugin, sorry, and that's the one that adds those menu options into control. I also use a filament sensor, and that one video is coming up. But don't worry, we just need the filament change to add those commands in. If you didn't want to add those commands in, you can feel free to go to the terminal page and you can actually just type M600 in and send it. That way, it'll interrupt the print and do the same command as in control and you can change your filament. Come on Greg, don't cut the filament, I need that. Just hit M600. Aside from clicking M600, there's nothing else to do in Octoprint. It was all on the screen. Now that we have it all loaded back up, we can see the print resume just where I left off. We're happy again. In about another hour, I'll have a bench hour and a half there. So all in all, it's a really simple process. It lets you change filaments, switch colors if you want. It's super handy if you're trying to use Kira's post-processing plug plugin or just editing the G-code. We come into Prusa Slicer and we change the preview bar on our print and hit the add button, we can notice that it changes colors along the way and your model does also. So if I were to hit slice now and export this G-code, uh, I'll just export it to my downloads, that's fine. So I'm gonna pop in, I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna edit the G-code with Notepad++. You can open it in VS Code if you want if we search now for M600, we can see that this is the exact command that Prusa Slicer is using to switch filaments automatically. So if you put this in your slicer and we open Prusa Slicer and we've clicked that little add button, every time we hit add and do a color change, the line changes color, the benchy changes color, but if we slice it, it also adds all those M600 into our G code. So there's another one, filament color change. And if I search again, the original one we had three, so all of them are in there now. So every time it would go to do a layer change, M600 would kick in. If you have the speaker connected to the printer, it's going to beep. And then you would go and deal with the fallout of the beeping speaker, which is just following the wizard that we did before. M600 is super useful. It should be enabled in Marlin by default. If it's not, just pop into the sections I showed you earlier and then enable it. The other handy thing to use M600 with is a switch. And those switches we are going to talk about. There's many out there, lots of varieties, and they all work okay. So I hope that clears up a little bit about filament change in G-Code and using it manually with that Octoprint plugin. It's amazing. You can click it from anywhere you are, preferably in your house, 
and go change it. But if you're away and you know you're running out of filament, quite often my cameras on these two printers are pointing at the filament roll so I can see what's left remotely. I can issue the command. It will park the nozzle just like it did this time. Even better, it cools down and it just waits for my intervention. So when I come back, I can turn that on, do the filament change, hit go. I'm not out any time on my print, really. Just the time it took me to change the filament. Hey, if you guys made it this far, you're awesome. Thanks so much. Remember to hit like, subscribe, and share these videos around. Also, if you look in the description, we've put a link to our Discord channel. So if you're building a printer, having some problems, or just want to dock 3D printing, we're in there, and you can send us a message. Have a good one.